Hello friends, uh, today we're going to be downgrading a uh, compact uh, CQ58, which is this one here, it's a very nice uh, laptop, compact CQ58, it's really cool, I like it a lot, and it's basically brand new, the only thing that I don't like about it is that it comes with uh, Windows 8, so since I don't, I'm not really too much into Windows 8, what I'm going to be doing today is that I'm going to be downgrading it to Windows 7. I have a copy of Windows 7 here. Make sure you get your legal copy of Windows 7. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the process. So right now everything is working fine. I mean, it's uh, getting into Windows 8 well, normally. That's how it works. And I just don't like the interface. And I don't like uh, some of the stuff that that uh, I think is just a little bit uh, too much stuff that you don't need so I would like to make it a little simpler and more friendlier because I like Windows 7 better than Windows 8 anyways I guess that's one of the reasons why Microsoft went from Windows 8 to 8.1 and then switch all the way to 10 because Windows 8 didn't have a remedy so anyways so first thing we're gonna do is when that we're gonna shut this computer off so let's go ahead and start off from here go to the desktop and select uh, shut down from here I'm gonna shut down the computer completely select shut down from the menu there you go and uh, just pop your copy of your Windows XP I'm gonna be using uh, Windows XP 64 bit in this case so pop the CD in it's actually a DVD I'm sorry and we're gonna get into the BIOS of this laptop so what we're gonna be doing when this computer shuts off uh, we're gonna turn it back on and we're gonna be hitting the F10 key to get into the BIOS so that's what we're gonna be doing right here so just watch uh, mainly we're gonna be changing two things uh, since this uh, operating system I'm talking about Windows 8 comes with a, uh, a new partition technology it's called UEFI I don't exactly know what it means or what it does but uh, basically we want to get rid of that uh, mode that this computer is booting on so we're gonna disable the UEFI uh, boot up uh, boot up um, procedure that this computer usually does and to do that we have to get into the BIOS and uh, we need to enable the legacy boot up system or uh, legacy boot up uh, BIOS uh, options. So let's go ahead and power up this uh, this baby and uh, hit F10 continuously, and then you should see a little uh, message here on the on the lower left corner. It says F10 configuration del BIOS. That's in Spanish, but it just basically says uh, uh, BIOS configuration because uh, this is uh, a laptop that I bought from my friend. And it's in Spanish, so. Um, Everything here is in Spanish. I, I can read it. Uh, probably you can tell by my accent. And so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to go to the part that says uh, system system configuration. And right here on my screen it says configuration del sistema. And we're going to go down all the way to it says um, boot up options. Opciones de arranque in Spanish right here. So boot up options. Hit enter right there. And you should see these options here. It says um, it says, um, let me see here, uh, compatibilidad heredada, that means uh, legacy, uh, compatibility. So that should be enabled. I already enabled it right here. It was previously uh, disabled. And what it says over here, it says that when the comp uh, legacy compatibility is, is uh, enabled, the BIOS uh, will load the module for compatibility or compatibility support module, CSM, to allow for uh, for another operating system legacy operating system set such as windows 7 windows vista xp and dos or dos so what we have to do is enable that part right there and then on this section you have the uefi option to boot up from the cd or dvd rom and uh, we're going to have to make sure that uh, we go to the bottom part and move the uh, cd dvd rom uh, boot up option from the bottom it's usually like over here make sure it moves up to the top where it says uh, boot up uh, boot up order uh, for the legacy boot up uh, 
boot up uh, option. So make sure it's on the top, just on both both of them, UEFI and Legacy, just to make sure. Okay. So make sure that's uh, done and that this part right here, uh, Legacy compatibility is enabled. Okay. Compatibility su compatibility support is enabled. And when you do that, just hit F10 and it will it will save the changes. And then you just uh, say yes. You want to save changes? Don't say no because it's not gonna do anything. So just save changes and exit so click right there and then um, you will see another little message here on the corner it says uh, press the escape key so you will do that and it will give you an option here to boot up and uh, it's basically uh, going to give you an option to select what you want to do how you want to boot up since we already popped our DVD on the on the drive right here from this here from these options, we're gonna select F9. It says uh, boot up, uh, boot up options. So F9, F9 right here, and then it will tell me where I wanna boot up from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boot up from internal CD-ROM, CD-DVD-ROM. So I'm gonna select that option with my arrow keys over here. Okay, going down. And click uh, and select unit un, uh, internal unit DVD ROM. Hit enter, and just wait for the system. It will actually start looking for the DVD ROM that's in here, and it will start loading up. And from there, we're gonna do our magic. Our magic. <laughs> we're gonna be formatting this baby completely. We're gonna wipe everything out, and then uh, install Windows 7 64 bit and look for the drivers for this uh, computer I know that a lot of people when they downgrade these type of laptops uh, they seem to have problems with the camera so I'm gonna do a second video on how you can uh, go about that you know so that your your camera your camera works because a lot of people format these computers and downgrade them they, they reformat them downgrade them and their camera doesn't work so I will do a second video for that part. For right now, we're just going to be doing the uh, the downgrading part for the operating system. Very good. So let's just wait for the um, the screen to give us the options to start formatting this laptop, and we'll be on our way. I know that this video might take a little while, but it's just that uh, I have to wait for the for the computer to respond. I might edit this video to make it shorter or just do like a little, um, what do you call it, like a, like a shorter version of it if I can edit it later on. So let's just wait for uh, the options here. Very good. And uh, actually um, this DVD that I have here only gives me the Spanish option. So that's what I'm going to do because I'm going to do it for my friend, Spanish. And uh, since it's in Mexico, I'm going to click Mexico. And the keyboard layout on this one, it's in English. So it gives me uh, Latin America over here. So I'm not going to choose that because the physical keyboard is English. There is no N with the tilde on the top over here. All right, so we're going to choose uh, going to choose American or United States from the options here. There you go, United States, there you go, there we go, Estados Unidos, click next, and then click install now, very good, now it's, uh, it's going to be loading up all the drivers and everything, so we're going to wipe out the uh, existing partition so we can get rid of the uh, the uh, Windows 8 operating system and we're gonna do two partitions since this hard drive is about uh, almost 300 gigabytes we're gonna do half and half one half for my files in case something goes wrong and I have to format the first partition and uh, the, the first partition is gonna be for the operating system and programs so I'll just wait for this thingy to give me the next option yeah, I guess I'll definitely do another video to shorten this up. So just bear with me over right here. Just 
loading up the files, the drivers. Okay, and here we're going over there. It's actually a very nice laptop. Okay, so uh, from these options, I'm gonna choose Windows 7 64 bit professional. There we go. And then click next and accept the terms because otherwise it won't let you install anything and then from here instead of uh, updating we're gonna go to personalized uh, option and here is where we're gonna, we're gonna be wiping everything out you see all these partitions already here these are all for the uh, existing operating system for Windows 8 so we're gonna have to get rid of all of them so we're gonna choose uh, unit options here and we're gonna start selecting each one of them and uh, get rid of them basically yes so get rid of this one starting from the top get rid of this one click accept and everything get rid of this one very well and as you can see everything is adding up to the top one because we're getting rid of, we're getting rid of them Get rid of this one. Actually, yeah, I clicked the wrong button. Get rid of that. Excellent. And get rid of this one. Great. Excellent. So now we basically have 300 gigabytes over here. We're going to create a new partition. And we're going to do half of that. So it's telling me it's 35, 30,000. 305,245 so half of that will be 152 so let's just do 152,000 152,000 152,000 1, 2, 3 megabytes click apply click accept to what it says over there And just wait for it to take effect very well so select the next option I mean the second partition over here and create a new one and leave it as a default because that's what's uh, left of the of the hard drive so let's go ahead and select the second partition over here don't don't mind to this one because this is needed for Windows 7 to boot up so select the second partition and then hit next and then let it do its work all right very well so I'm going to let it work and then I'm going to pause this video and come back.